problem with the fucking world is that nobody wants to fucking admit that they might be wrong. Nobody wants to admit that they might be a little bit damaged. Nobody wants to admit that they are unhealed. So everybody has to cover up when all you got to do is own your shit. That's it. You just have to own it because there's always a way. There's always a fucking solution. There's always a way to change. Before you do an attraction spell, know this secret. What is attraction? Attraction is being able to pull people or things in your direction. Now, if you're not able to do that naturally, you won't be able to do it if you take it to a metaphysical level. You have to understand the basics of attraction on earth before you try to take things terrestrial. There's a lot of people out here. They wonder why they can't find a date. They, they, you know, they, they go on dating sites, you know, they meet people, but it never goes anywhere. They get one person, the person's, un the, the person's not uh, interested anymore. They meet another person, they're not interested anymore. They meet another person, they're not interested anymore. The problem is not in people. The problem is you. You have to examine yourself and ask yourself, what am I doing which can be repelling people that I meet? Examine yourself. Most people are not conscientious of the things they do, the things they say. There was one young lady on a post, and she mentioned something about a rival. She said he, she thought he was kind of cute, but he's missing a few screws. Or she said he has loose screws. Sometimes you can have the looks, but the things that come out of your mouth make you so unattractive. You repel people. You, some people think just because they got looks, they can attract anyone. That's not true. Because a person will look at you and then hear the things that come out your mouth, and they'll be like, you know what? It's a done deal. It's a wrap. I'm not even talking to this person anymore. Just because a person has looks, it doesn't mean that they're attractive. You can be attractive, but your attire throws people off. You don't wear deodorant. You just wear any rinky-dink fucking shit, and you think that guys or women are supposed to be attracted to you. You wear run-down shoes. You know, you're wondering why the person leaves you for someone else that dressed better than you, that takes care of themselves. You can't, you can't necessarily question why the person you're with is no longer attracted anymore because of if you're not taking care of yourself. If you look at the person who they left you for, you'll see that that person has qualities that you lacked in. When it comes to dating, what are you wearing? If you're on an online dating site, what are you presenting? What type of, are you, you know, are you just putting on any fucking random shit? And then, you know, you know, are you just put on any random fucking shit? And then, you, you know, you're wondering why people are not fucking attracting to you? Or the things that you write. What are you looking for? You know, you know, you don't jump into this, oh, you know, I'm going to get married. You got to check everything that you're saying. If you're on a dating site, you want to get to know someone before you start talking about possible marriage and things of that nature. Because you can repel people. You haven't even sat down to get to know a person. The first thing that comes out of your mouth is, I'm trying to get married whatsoever. Repelling 
people. You meet up with someone. You know, you don't, you know, you meet up with someone, your shoes are dirty, you know, you're wearing sweaty clothes, you're not wearing deodorant, you're repelling people. You meet up with people, you know, then you, you know, you you wishy-washy, you know, you, you know, you're here and there, you're repelling people. People want to experience a good time. People truly desire uplifting vibes. People don't want downward vibes. Even in ignorance, people are looking to be happy. People are looking for that euphoria. Can you provide that? That's what people are looking for. This, you know, she's fine. I can go out with her. I can, you know, what do you think arm candy is? People want to show you off. You, you know, people want to show you off. This is, this is who I'm seeing. People want to be proud of who they're with. But if you're not presenting yourself in any manner, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be just like what happens when you take it to a metaphysical level. When you start getting involved with doing magic and stuff like, stuff like that for, for love and stuff like that, what do you think is going to transpire? It's going to be, for a minute, the person is going to look at you and then they're going to turn their head the opposite way. Because they, 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 the spirit is motivated to look at you, but when they look at you, they look up and down, they size you up, uh-uh, I don't want to deal with that person. You know, change your speech. Don't always jump on a negative. Try to keep the conversation positive. You know, because sometimes some people meet, it's every single fucking day, oh, uh, I, I, I'm just pissed off, I'm depressed, I got this thing going on here, you know, I'm just having, who the fuck wants to hear that shit? Things like that repel people. So with that said, I conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.